hello family welcome back to the channel so in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make this cute mini backpack it's a fashion backpack and um, i got the inspiration from the actual louis vuitton bag so if this is something you would like to see please stay tuned to the channel and let's go straight into the tutorial So guys, this backpack, the side is actually connected to the front and the bottom is connected to the back. So the first thing you're going to go ahead and do is to decide the width of the bag and the length. So you decide the width of the, of the side. I decided that I wanted the side to be 5 inches. And then um, the body of the bag, I also decided I want it to be around um, 8 inches inches so what you are going to go ahead and do the first thing you're going to go ahead and do is to measure five inches then you measure eight inches then you also measure another five inches then you go ahead and um, rule the lines so for the <coughs> length of the bag i decided that i want the length of the bag to be 10 inches so this square that you are seeing is the 10 inches in length square so after you go ahead and do that the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do is from the five inches side you are going to go ahead and go up by four inches then you mark your lines then you cut it upwards this way you cut it upwards this way so you are removing the remaining up i just hope you understand what i am saying so you cut it on both side so this way you have your side already and you have also removed the topper part so this is how it's going to come out this is what it's going to look like so next thing you're going to go ahead and you know is to use a round something or you can use a free hand if you have a cup ruler you could do that so you just use it to just make your curve just use it to make your curve like this then you go ahead and cut it out. Then you go ahead and do the curve on the other side as well. So guys, after you're done with that, this is um, what it's going to look like. So now the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is to bring the back part. Back part. I've already cut out the back part. The width is 8 inches and um, the length is going to be 10 inches plus 5 inches because the bottom is attached to the to the um, back of the bag so you measure 10 inches plus 5 inches by 8 inches i just hope you understand so you go ahead and um, this is how it's going to this is how we are going to sew it i just hope you get it so the next thing you're going to go ahead and do now is to just use the front curve to cut out the back curve so that it will be it will be equal so that it will not be it's so that it will not be different from each other so after you're done cutting and this is what it looks like now the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is to now cut the zipper panel so you start measuring from here you just measure this way keep going please make sure you are measuring it right and make sure no place is bending measure it this way anything you get please make sure you add one inches and then you are going to cut it out at seven inches you are going to add extra two inches the reason is because the zipper the zipper holder is overlapped so you are going to be cutting anything you get you cut it out you add extra one inches that's going to be for the length then for the width you are going to be cutting out five inches plus two inches that is seven inches so i've already cut out my seven inches so this is just me making my markings of the five inches i'm trying to remove the five inches here so that i'll be able to fold it this way so i'm going to be using that marking as a guide to fold in my um zip where my zipper is going to be so this is how it's going to be i'm going to fold it this way this is how it's going to be so what i'm going to go ahead and do now i am just going to go ahead and um, sew my zip on the on the um on the side of the back first on the side of the zipper side first i'll just go ahead and sew my zip like this 
see i'm just making i'm sewing it on that extension i just hope you understand what i'm saying i'm sewing it on that extension i'm sewing it on that two inches extension so after i sew it i went ahead and top stitch it i just hope you can see so this is what it looks like now i'm going to be folding in that two from that two inches again i'll fold it in like this please make sure you are folding it very well so that when you want to go and sew it will not give you any issue so then you now fold it this way making sure that the Another, the second fold you are doing is not covering the zipper. I have a similar tutorial on the channel, but that one, the fold is covering the zipper. The fold is covering the zipper, but this one, the fold is not covering the zipper. I just hope you understand what I'm saying. So I'm going to put the link of that other backpack that I made in the description box so that you'll be able to go and watch it and see how to make how and see the difference and see how to make this kind of zipper with a folded cover one that covered the zipper and the second one that didn't cover the zipper so this is me doing it again so that you guys will be able to see and understand how to go about it so please make it make sure that the Fold is not covering the zipper. So when you want to sew it, you turn it to the wrong side, then you sew it on the edges like this. So after I was done sewing, this is what it looks like. You can see our overlay is is, is has come out already. And this is what it looks like at the back. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do now is to make a notch on the zipper side. Make a notch on the zipper side and also on the front side so that you go ahead and... Um, so it's you want to go ahead and sew. I like sewing from the middle. This is because if there is any excess, it's easy for me to cut it off from the side rather than sewing from one side and um, there will be too much on the other side. I just hope you understand what I'm saying. So that's why I prefer to make my notches and I will start sewing from the middle thank you guys for tuning into the channel once again if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back and if you are just tuning into the channel for the very first time please do well to click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post in new tutorials so after i was done sewing this is what it looks like of course you are going to remove the other side so you are of course going to top stitch it but not right away now I already went ahead and made my uh, my front pocket of camera. If you don't know how to go about front pockets of a backpack, I have lots and lots of tutorials on the channel on how to go about it. And I'm going to put the link in the description box so that you'll be able to watch and see how to go about it. So what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to put your runner on one side of the bag first. After you put your runner, then you fold it this way, then you make a straight stitch. You fold it this way, then you make a straight stitch. I just hope you get it. So this is what I mean. I went ahead and put my runner first. So that I'll show, show you guys how to sew it. So you fold it this way. Sure, you see the way is. you put your runner so that the two zipper will be connected. Then you fold it this way. Of course, there's going to be excess reason because we already added one inches excess to the zipper side so definitely that half inches is going to come out on both sides so you are going to now make your stitches like this so that is even another reason why i i i, I like it i like sewing my zipper side from the middle so that that any excess you have will come out so after i sew one side this is just how you are going to go ahead and over overlay over uh sorry that you are going to go ahead and top stitch it so you put me what i did is i started top stitching it all the way before i now went ahead and put the runner on the second side then i continue with my top stitch so this is how it's going to look like this way it's not going to give you stress and you're not going to make mistakes sure you can see sure you can see so that is how to go about the top stitching of this type of corset so i went ahead and fixed my front pocket like i said i have lots of tutorials and i am going to put the link in the description box so that you'll be able to watch and see how to go about different types of front pockets small or big or two or one or side pockets i have them a lot on the channel so this is my d-ring and this is just a one inch thing that i cut and i'm just going to be putting it on the 
on the uh, on the side of the bag. So what I did is I went up by one inches from the line I measured for the bottom. You know, the, the bag is connected to the bottom. So definitely when I measured 10 inches, which is the total length of the bottom, I drew a line. So, and I went ahead and cut out and, and, and I added five inches. So from that line that I drew that is serving as a demarcation for the front, for the, for the back and the bottom, I'm going to be going up by half inches. Then I'm going to be putting my D rings that way. Then on the top side, I'm going to be putting the D ring on the curve, exactly on the curve of, uh, of the back of the bag. So when I was done, this is what it looks like. Now, the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do now is to, you know, couple everything together. I've went ahead and uh, made my long strap off camera. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's very, very easy. I went ahead and made my long strap off camera. So, of course, I am going to, you know, make my notch so that i'll start my stitching from the middle as well in case of any excess but there was no excess but it's better to be on the safe side so please when you are sewing making sure that that markings you made is the guide so that you will know when you are sewing off so this is what i mean so this is how you are going to go ahead and sew it so you see you go up you see then you open the zipper then you go ahead and turn your bag inside out and that is like basically everything about this tutorial guys i hope you learned something from this tutorial and um i hope um you also like this tutorial so guys thank you guys for tuning into the channel once again if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back thank you for your likes thank you for sharing my tutorials and thank you for for always commenting please if you're just tuning into the channel for the very first time please do well to click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post in new tutorials because on this channel we have many more amazing tutorials to show you guys and i assure you you wouldn't want to miss any so having said that guys this is the final look of the bag and um i hope to see you guys in my next tutorial bye for now